What's up everyone? I'm Marilee Blair and I'm a serious travel addict as I've been to 54 countries so far. And today I'm going to talk to you about my new favorite city in the entire world, Positano, located in the Amalfi Coast of Italy. Positano is a beautiful picturesque town located on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. The town is famous for its colorful buildings, narrow streets, and stunning views of the sea. When you think of Positano, you imagine its charming town as a postcard coming to life and can just feel the romantic vibes and taste the saucy pasta, warm cheesy tomato pizza, warm bread ready to dip in the best olive oil and vinegar, and the melting of your gelato in your mouth to cool you down after a long day of laying out in the sun. My husband and I just fell in love with this magical city. So here are some of my travel tips for hotels, activities, and recommendations of things to do. Hotels. I have been dreaming for years to stay at this famous five-star luxury hotel called Les Serenues in Positano that had the most stunning views overlooking Positano and of course the incredible artistic architecture. It's one of the most luxurious hotels in the world and it's where majority of the celebrities stay when they visit Positano. I knew it was going to be expensive but I had to stay here especially since it was for my birthday trip and it was a dream of mine. So I booked this hotel back in December 2022 because when I was researching, a lot of websites said to book this specific hotel in Positano early as it books up fast since it's a popular tourist destination with limited hotels, especially this one since it has the best view. So when I went to book it, it actually was already sold out the majority of the nights we needed and they only had one night available for the room we wanted that guaranteed a great view of Positano. I realized that one night was better than nothing at all. So I I'd happily take it over not getting the experience to stay there. So I booked it with my Chase Reward Points so it wouldn't cost me so much out of my pocket. The cost was $880.22 and I used my points that were worth $731.20. So all I paid out of pocket for this room was $149.02. Les Serenues included early check-in, late check-out, and the best free buffet breakfast with the exceptional five-star customer service. Looking back now, I'm so happy I booked this hotel. I have no regrets. To have an experience even just was absolutely worth it. Les Serenues was a dream come true. Every part of that hotel had gorgeous views. I did so many photo shoots throughout the hotel in different outfits because First, it wasn't packed since we went early in April and not the summer. And two, you just felt like a celebrity being there. And the customer service was so amazing. It was the best that we had in Italy. And when we arrived, we got a free bottle of champagne and strawberries in our room. And at La Serenius, to make the most of our short time, we actually just stayed at the hotel the whole day and following morning to fully enjoy it, taking the views from every possible spot. We had dinner there to celebrate my birthday. And and we even woke up early to enjoy the views before breakfast and checkout. This is definitely one of the most incredible luxury hotels I highly recommend. Now, obviously we needed an other hotel to stay for three more nights. And luckily my amazing girlfriend, Rebecca, who had already been to Positano, recommended the hotel she stayed at and said it was very affordable and had great views. So I saw they had availability for the dates that we needed, thank goodness, for three nights. This hotel is called Villa Rosa. And we of course also wanted a very specific room for the views, which was called the apartment room consisting of two intersecting rooms, one with the double bed with the sea view terrace and the other with single beds um, and two private bathrooms. The cost was 1,175 euros for three nights, which is about $391.66 euros per night, which is way more affordable than less renews. If you are looking to book a hotel with amazing views at a better bank for your buck. And it was amazing. Villa Rosa was only a walk across the street from Las Serenues. So it was really easy to bring our stuff to the new hotel. And since Les Serenues gave us a late checkout, we only had to wait an hour for our room to be ready at Villa Rosa. But since we planned on exploring anyway, the wait for the room wasn't an issue. And Mike and I are so used to traveling to different cities in Europe that the packing and unpacking even for one night isn't an issue for us. It's really just about your preference. Villa Rosa was absolutely amazing. We got an even better balcony view than the one we had at Les Serenues. And they give you free continental breakfast 
every morning personally delivered to your room to enjoy on your balcony, which was amazing. Talk about a content creator's dream come true. I was so happy actually that we had three nights to enjoy here since the views were even better. Um, so we had plenty of time for creating content for Instagram reels, YouTube videos, and capturing special moments of me and my husband doing our own personal photo shoots. They also have great customer service and the location for Villa Rosa and Los Serenios truly is the best in my opinion in Positano. Both hotels give you that dream come true, this is my life type of feeling, am I dreaming right now? And you get to enjoy a postcard view at any time while staying there. I am glad we were forced to stay at two different hotels and if this situation ever happened again, I would gladly repeat the same itinerary over again and rebook these two specific hotels. Because sometimes I get indecisive where it's hard for me to choose one when I want to stay at two places at two different hotels because they provide you different great feelings. And this we didn't have to choose. We got the best of both worlds, which is the best feeling. And we saved a lot of money by not staying at Les Serenues the entire time. So that's where my bougie budgeter name comes back into play. We went for the bougie, but still budgeted. Plus, we were also three minutes walking distance to both bus stops for the city bus and the bus that takes you to Almafi, which was great for us. Now for food recommendations. The first meal we had was dinner at La Sponda at La Serenius Hotel. I wanted to make a reservation ahead of time, but they sold out of spots. Luckily, since we were hotel guests, they easily booked us a reservation. So I realized they only give a certain amount of spots to outside guests and save majority of room for dinner for hotel guests. So if you're staying at the hotel, you're good. But if you want to have any meal at La Serenius Hotel and you're not staying there, I highly recommend booking a reservation in advance ASAP. Best dinner of the entire trip. We ordered food a la carte and it included free bread, free anchovy appetizer. Plus they surprised me and my husband with free pastries for dessert, plus a cake for my birthday. So I'm glad we didn't order more food because we were both really stuffed with the small, amazing portions we had. And it was so romantic to be there to watch the sunset for dinner at our table. It just had like such a beautiful view of Positano and I do recommend going there early for dinner. So we got the earliest reservation at 7.30 p.m. and we actually went there early. And so we got the best front row view of Positano. Couples that came down after us had to actually sit behind us, which when you're paying for a really expensive meal and you specifically come for the views, it's best to go early and get the earliest reservation. So worth it. Some other restaurants, Elisir de Postiano, I got a really amazing fish parmesan. And there was a different view of Positano, which was um, because of where the restaurant was located. So that was nice to see. And then we also had dinner at Hotel Lancora. They have an amazing sea bass and my husband loved the beef dish he got. It also has a great view of Positano, but both Les Serenios and Villa Rosa Hotel have honestly way better views. So after that dinner, we decided the rest of the trip that we would get food to go like pizza and salad so we could just enjoy our balcony at Villa Rosa as much as possible. And we really only ate two big meals a day, which is perfect for us. Activities. Enjoy the famous Positano Spigia Beach. There are plenty of restaurants there to enjoy the beach view too. And make sure to take the bus to visit Almafi. You have to see the gorgeous Almafi Cathedral and take a short walk to Atrani, which is seven minute walk from the Almafi Center and other gorgeous viewpoints. We got bus tickets that we bought for 24 hour passes so we could get as much as we needed and they cost 10 euros per person. And you got, we got them from the local Tabachi store in Positano, seven minutes from the hotels. Go to Ravello and Almafi Coast and visit Villa Rufulo. It costs seven euros per person and Villa Crimbone. It's 10 euros per person. They're only 15 minute walk from each other. Both of their gardens are unique and beautiful with the most amazing views of the southern part of the Almafi Coast. Also, do the Path of Gods hike. We did the one-way route from Nocelli to Bermano, so we took the city local bus to get to Nocelli, then we began this hike. 
This hike was the best way to see other amazing views of Positano and one of the best hikes we've ever done in the world. One way is four miles, which took us two hours. Then in Bomerano, we had to take the bus to Almafi and from Almafi, take the bus back to Positano, which is only the only way to do it, which is a little inconvenient, but it worked out for us in our itinerary. The only beach we didn't get to see was Fiordo di Fiori, which just we just didn't have time because of how long we spent doing other things. So if you can, definitely make time to see it. Transportation and ferry. We were leaving Capri when we arrived in Positano. So we booked a ferry on Amio app for the ferry from Capri to Positano, which cost 23 euros per person. When we arrived in Positano, we paid 30 euros for our two big bags. They charged 15 euros per bag to be taken to the hotel since it's a steep walk. And then my husband carried our other two bags to the hotel, which was about 15 minutes. Now, when we were leaving Positano, we needed to get to Naples train station. And the most affordable and convenient way for us since we had a lot of bags was to book a private car with Villa Rosa, which cost 150 euros. It's pricey, but that was what we had to get to get to Naples. You can take the bus, which is a lot cheaper, but you have to compete with other passengers and buses and they get spots get taken really fast. So we wouldn't have been able to do it with all four of our bags. But if you have small carry-ons, then it will definitely be more ideal for you. For currency, Italy uses the Euro. So make sure to exchange some money for Euros while traveling. Since I have a Chase Reserve credit card, I like to use that on the majority of purchases since there are no foreign fees and it acts as a travel insurance. But it's always important to have some cash just in case. Thank you all for exploring the world one video at a time with me, your own personal bougie budgeter. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and look for brand new episodes every Wednesday. And let me know what country you want to learn about in the comments section below. And for all helpful information that I mentioned and links, look at them in the description below. You've arrived at your destination.